Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In the last part we finished up a Jalu campaign scenario. And so in this one we are moving on to the fourth of the initial four heroes in the Shadow of Death, Gem. And I, although she was the first one we played, she's the last in this final campaign, or maybe it's the final campaign, who knows. Anyway, we have three options here. We can start with a homestead, start with 30 grand elves, which is rather an impressive count. Or a scroll of destroy undead. I am going to pick. Uh, I want to make sure I get destroy undead. As we saw in the previous video, destroy undead has a lot of early game potential. Maybe even more so than the elves. Uh, it's tough to say. I mean, 30 grand elves does a lot. Um, but if they have powerful magic or other problems, then you'd be better off with the stronger spell. When I went to tell Lord Fayette about Sandor tricking me, I learned he left on a mission into Deja while I was searching for the boots, and had not yet returned. So I scribed for Lord Fayette, and discovered his mission had gone horribly wrong. He had been killed by the necromancers, and... and... resurrected as a death knight. Curse all necromancers! There is one last service I can do for my lord. I will grant his soul final peace by destroying the undead body chaining it to this world. I owe him that much. <laughs> I think Jem and uh, Craig Hacks actors do the best job with their roles. Wow, we get Clancy back. <laughs> That's rather surprising. I slipped over the border into no man's land between Avli and Dacia. Well, is Clancy any good? Hey, hey, he's leveled up to the max! And has decent skills. Ballistics again, not so great. But tactics, air magic, wisdom, certainly fine. And apparently he's got a magic resistance necklace, which does coincide with his expert resistance. Spells? Magic arrow only. I don't remember building him up to be so crappy. Gem, on the other hand, has three magic schools, the god mode of diplomacy and art... Archery. Actually, she is pretty close to how I built her up, to be honest. So, we are happy with this. We got a scroll of uh, Destroy Undead with Expert Air Magic, so she's going to look very much like the gem we've all known and loved from the previous scenarios. What are her spells? Magic Arrow and the Destroy Undead. So we can't view air yet. We're going to save this right away. Um, basically... Same as always, I think we can get take it. Let's check out what we can get in the Mage Guild, level 1. Yeah, well, there you go. I had two shots at this because uh, Clancy also has Expert View Air. Two Necro Towns, dead south. And a couple neutrals. I expect some garrison busts or resistance, something like that. Actually, there was an underground as well. And another necro town. Ha <laughs> ha. That's probably the one I want to take out ultimately. Alright, we're good now. Do we have a tavern? Yes, thank you. Thank you, game, for having a tavern. Not too bad. Well, we would want some better troops on Eris, but nevertheless, we will take what the game gives us. What are my other spells here? Um, not a whole lot that I care about other than that. Although, did she have expert water? She does. So Mass Bless is important to her, actually. Who'd have thought? Let's just transfer the centaurs over. All the centaurs, apparently. Because we can. And now over in Clancy's world. Um, don't need a mage guild on him, so we're going to build the town hall right away. It's going to be hard to build up enough heroes, uh, which... He does have magic arrow. He has okay spell points. Man, if I could get him a ballista... Well, he doesn't have ballista. He doesn't have, um... What's it? He has ballistics, but he doesn't have artillery. Ballista does not be affected by the ballistics, but rather by artillery. Cute. So, okay. Might as well grab these guys. They do not cost me money, only movement. 
And how many? Lots of water elementals. Right off the bat. Lots of wood elves. And apparently we have a route to the south through a pack of silver pegasi. I'm going to want to scout out a little bit better. In fact, um, not being able to rely on town portal for the moment, why don't we just uh, recruit some more people into the fray here and scout better. We want to make, we want to see, oh man, everything's being walled off. But yeah, basically we're looking to clear a path to the AI as fast as we can. We'll try this way first. Oh god, we have the Imba Rush. I love Imba Rush. Alright. So we're not going to get necro blocked, I hope. Pack of Pit Fiends can wall me off a little bit. I think I can take some of this stuff though, really. She's expert everything, so Witch Hut is pointless. However, you deliver unto Eris some centaurs. You can then shuttle them to Gem. Oh, right. Already gotten the bonus from that, so I cannot do so again. And I will transfer the doors over. I want a paper army here. Paper armies are excellent. And I neglected the town hall here last time, so let's grab that. And I will take more dwarves, hence the paper army. Cannot believe the game is still letting me do this, this deep into the Shadow of Death campaign. And I'm not going to get in the Wake of Gods, probably. I want to get straight into Heroes 5, so... Wake of Gods is a, I guess a fan? Or, uh, yeah, I guess it's a fan expansion or something it's it's not official heroes of might and magic 3 and they change a lot of the stats of the monsters and how the game plays on the other hand it's pretty popular and it's got its own sense of strategy so if you're interested in more heroes 3 rather than the later heroes check it out curse them all no they're immune to that gem don't do it they've got the high ground all right that joke never gets old does it Probably should have checked that out, but it's too late now. Oh, jeez. Why do these guys want to throw down? But we have expert tactics. Because we are pro elite skill. Full. Alright, Silver Pegasi can inflict quite a hurting. <laughs> Magic Arrow for 130 damage, or Lightning Bolt for 300. Um, if I don't want to take losses, this is the way to do it. She has 100 spell points. So I just need them not to get morale on me this turn, and I'm fine. Thank you, game. Thank you for not screwing me. Let's, uh, oh yeah, I waited. Ow. Well, like I said, zap and... Smack. Well, if we can get some more centaurs. We don't even have enough money for all of them. But we also get a little bit of extra income each day, so that's helpful to us. Pack of Ogre Magi. Well, I do need to get some resources eventually, so I'm going to go there. Flag some mines. Sure, Eris. Apparently there's an underground route. And I think I can grab an ore pit with lots of water elementals. And you only spell power 5. I don't know. I don't know that I like that. Well, if I get some more elves, I can do it. I'm not elves. Centaurs, which are kind of like elves, except for that they have no relation to them whatsoever. Does Jim have haste? No, and haste could be very useful to her potentially, so we'll have to backtrack for that, I'm afraid. Alright. Now I have enough money to grab some of these guys. And is it a pack? Yeah, I guess I didn't have enough power to sway them. That's unfortunate. 
Um. Yeah, I'm not exactly uh, showing a groundbreaking strategy here. Six times five. Wow, that barely kills. It's like exactly the amount of damage needed. Well, not like it is. And we are just going to lay a hurting on them. Several master genies. There we go. I don't really have anything useful to buff them, but... Or to buff with them, I should say. Is that would be what I was intending to say. Alright, we're just going to save our money. Mage guild level 1 is not doable here. Because I'm out of mana. Which means I need to be a bit more conservative with it. Not much more. Um... Actually, whoa. You can check out up here, too. We could probably clear another lumber pit. Sawmill. Yeah, sawmill. Lumbar pit. Yeah, it says in the uh, reference to the back. Anyway, they're only going to get one shot off on me here. Kill one centaur and we're good. So, yeah, we'll pick up another one of these guys. That's fine. I overheard. That's not two words, but whatever. <laughs> some of my troops talking about my eyes. It was amusing. Apparently they think that the blue around my eyes is some sort of war paint. I suppose they would be disappointed if I were to tell them it's merely part of being a druid. I magicked my... Magicked. Well, it's a verb now. <laughs> in a face, in a way, and a ceremony... That way, in a ceremony, honoring something some small creature had done for me. Which, in my case, was when raccoons washed... My food in the water? That doesn't sound sanitary at all. Raccoon's gesture may not have been a monumental gift, but I treasure the memory. Okay. <laughs> Jeff is a little strange, but um, well-intentioned. And I'm just randomly scrolling my screen. Um, I should have enough raw health. Nope, nope. I probably should split my genies into two stacks. Although they have enough raw DPS potential on their own to uh, just attack the wyvern, so we'll wait with them. Or maybe we won't. Uh, let's see here, 11 speed, 11 speed, screw you. Well. Oh yeah, I did a wait technique. Hmm, I don't have enough to kill them outright. Although, without the stats, they're not going to do a whole lot to me. There we go. Beware, how close am I to the Necromancers? I'm going to struggle to get there in time. As in, I really don't have any chance of getting there in time. But, Clancy can grab a sawmill and that helps to ease the pain. I guess. I'm gonna take a pack of hellhounds. Looks like Eris is going to be on mine duty. And you're just gonna sit there for now. <sighs> I don't know why they think they're going to win, but whatever. I even have home field terrain! Yay! Oh! That magic arrow is not nearly the god mode I was expecting it to be. ruin these things. Well, whatever. Let's minimize the damage I take at least. Probably gonna lose a centaur. Yep, one centaur down. But that's it. We got them. After a little knife in their canine eye. Let's, yeah, stick a knife there. They enjoy that. Ask them how the dirt tastes. Man, View Earth would have been nice. I don't know where the heck I'm going.
I guess I'm gonna have to try to farm these guys as troops and then use them ultimately. <sighs> Whatever. Clancy can duck in here. We'll build a mage guild. Maybe I just want to build income buildings. Why are you fighting me? Just because you're much stronger. Screw you. Um. I can tear a chunk out of these guys, but I'm not gonna do too much. Twenty-two damage. Well, you already moved, and I'm gonna mass haste next round, so oh crap. I blew that one. And took some bad damage there, so that wasn't my best maneuver. Hmm. I could just magic arrow these guys. That's probably yeah, it is a little bit cheaper than the haste spell. And then just clobber them with an attack. Bit of a misplay on my part. Mismanagement. Sucks. Naga Queens. Ever the duel. Yeah, wow, the destroy undead is not coming in very handy here. Oh man, seriously. It's ridiculous. I don't suppose I'll be able to take several Naga Queens on the next attempt, but whatever. Not quite sure what I intend to accomplish with Theodorus, unless I can break the garrison with, well not the garrison, but rather the uh, wandering creatures that are obstructing me. This city is slow, I could probably make use of that. Wait a minute. We can build dwarves and elves. Clancy should be able to bust this easily then. Although don't tell that to the pit lords. Fiends. Idiots. Pit idiots. Idiots of the pit. 80 points of damage. We'll almost kill two of them, but mass haste might be more appealing. In round one. Forcing them all to move right away. And my doors can uh, factor into this battle now as well. And they are guaranteed to kill one, so that's useful. Alright. And yeah, now we get the double move. Oh. I guess I got away with it, but wow. More of that shenanigans. Several Wyvern Monarchs for a rather useful, useless artifact. Thank you. Diplomacy finally triggering in my favor. Not gonna get away with this one, I suppose. And as long as I can get through the Titan, the Giant should not be too hard, so... Yeah, let's do exactly the health and... Damage! You know, there's a limit to what I'm willing to tolerate, and that crosses it. So, let's try this again. <sighs> this time without moving my troops stupidly into death. Okay, much better.
And Titans have decent speed, but for Giants, I should say. Can you kill them? No, you cannot. Well, that one's interesting. And these uh, Wyverns can do it for certain. And I'm not guaranteed to kill one here. Let's just play it a little bit safely, huh? And otherwise, we're just going to use Diplo to farm up as much abuse as we can. Especially since I went the wrong way first. How much hit points do these guys have? Set up some good old double moves. Since Clancy's more of a might dude. Probably will kill one with an, at with an attack, so... There we go. And not too terribly concerned about the dwarves otherwise. Um, actually we're good. Just, uh, just attack. That'll get us through. And alright! Oh, well, there's several black dragons blocking the way. We're just going to spam troops over to Clancy. Hopefully, uh, Diplomacy is going to give me enough of a lift. Oh, more elves. Let's see here. Why are you so slow? Yeah. Can Gem surrender? No. Can Clancy surrender? Probably. Yeah, I can lose Clancy. I don't want to. I'm not going to do so. Unless something weird happens. But I don't, you know, I can I can lose him and not lose the campaign. Which is interesting. And a little bit more forgiving than we might expect in one of these later missions. Hmm. It's a gem specialty. Might as well bring it along. Actually, does she have that as one of her skills? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that would be pretty bad if she didn't. And that was her specialty. She told me she discovered the person of her husband's secret mission! Apparently he was trying to discover information about what happened to his neighbor, Lord Falorel. He was found dead by a ranger named Jalyu, but the corpse was that of a vampire. It's unclear what happened. Had Falarel been replaced by the vampire? Was the real Falarel captured and turned into a vampire? Or was something else going on? Yeah, and who killed the vampire? And why was the Dajian Border Lord willing to talk about this? Probably because they don't want to get their butts kicked. And I have like troops of 17 alignments in here now. So that might not be the best situation. However... The Wyverns are strong. I don't know. That's fine. We'll take a morale penalty, although we can make up for some of it there. How many war unicorns? Just several. Let's just grab the mine. We'll kill some, recruit some, and ultimately, uh... Look to prove diplomacy to be the superior one last time. These guys are self-blocking a bit, which is odd, certainly. Full damage. Killing these guys would open myself up to follow-up attacks from the people in the back. Not something I'm really apt to do, so... I'll just sack a dwarf here. Wow, war unicorns are fast on their home terrain. Jeez, they are they fast. Get him. <sighs> Although fast they are, they are not going to do too much to me here, so. Can 
it might be time for Aerith to catch up and grab the dwarves. Dwarves were important early because that could use them as a hit point dump. In fact, we're going to bring you over to grab them. Yeah, they were important as a hit point dump so that I could uh, abuse the diplomacy skill, but at this point, that's not as big of an issue any longer. And why am I pumping City Hall rather than units? Well, I'm getting my units outside at a faster rate, at least ideally faster rate, than I would get otherwise. And you are blocking a little. Give me the doors. They're no longer your thing. Can pick up some of these guys, though. And actually, that's fine. You with that exact location is not quite perfect, but good enough. Pass some centaurs over to Gem. <laughs> we all have to know that the Angelic Alliance is going the crag hack. <laughs> It's destroyed by a barbarian and resurrected by one as well. Rally flag up there should be enough to counteract any morale issues. City Hall. And what about here? Grab another homestead, whatever. Let's see if these guys will join me. No, because they are lame. Much like the tactics that I want to employ myself, and I didn't get the rally flag, because I am a pro elite skills or guy. Sorry, I don't need morale in fighting black dragons anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Surely. Surely you must be joking. <laughs> uh, week three already. Man, time is racing. Well, pick up what you can. We're gonna need it all. Well, except for the dwarves, because they slow you down too much. But, you know, or slow gem down too much. And you get out of the way. Clancy, we gotta call in your services next. You have fewer units to recruit, which is both good and bad. Mostly bad because we really want as many troops as possible. But good in that I'm not going to be missing out on any, at least. So we'll go glass half full there and say that it does not suck as much as it could. Yeah, I might as well. She has an archery skill, so let's make use of it. Do we need Grand Elves? No. <laughs> Don't be silly. I need no Grand Elves. Several black dragons, and she is still hurting for spell points. Evil Fog plus black dragon speed! Oh, this is going to be bad, actually. They're immune to all spells. And I have lots of negative morale. Hmm. Well, most of the other spells aren't going to be too useful here, so... Ooh, 540 damage, huh? Imagine that. Can actually take some of these guys out. And uh, you are not retaliated, so take full abuse. 170 damage will get a kill. Can't really trigger them to hit each other. So let's try to keep them from hitting two of me at once. Yeah, they're focus firing because they're jerks. I think I would have been hard pressed to break this earlier. Hey, hey, 26 damage. 
is enough. <laughs> um, not quite enough to kill them off. Although, if I don't want to take another round of attacks, I probably need to attack them with the centaurs. And, oh god, morale penalties up everything. However, we have this. We got them. Oh, well. Yes. Instant rejuvenation. Well, more like resupply of forces is more accurate. Interestingly, I have a lot of the mines already. I just need to get the serpent flies out of the way. And the Clancy can probably do that just with the leftover dwarves. Well, I guess I need to go through the alchemist lab and whatnot as well. But for the most part, I'm going to have most of the mines in my immediate vicinity under my control, surprisingly. I'm going to save money for a turn, see if I can, can get these guys to join me. Let's see how the undead are doing in their conquests. They've already taken uh, one of the neutral towns. I obviously took the other one. And I bet their towns are better developed. Well, this is going to be uh, still a morale problem, but less of one than last time. Everybody wait. Whoa, I can't... Uh, can't cast beneficial spells? Guess not. Wow, that sucks. Can get some damage at least. Locked by my own silver pegasi, however, is not cool. They would probably rough these guys up pretty badly, but I'm going to attack with them anyway. Ouch. I really underestimated. Lost a lot of women monarchs there. Although they are a, a unique stack type in a situation where that is not good for me. Are these faster? 11 speed versus 7. You know what, let's just sack the women monarchs so I can get some morale back. are much faster and they can reach so attack now yeah before I get into a serious battle I'm going to uh, probably dump the wyvern monarchs <sighs> of course they have a uh, bit of a rough guard uh, there just a pack of mighty gorgons compared to what I've been facing it's not too rough. And I'm going to have to grab these artifacts for denial purposes. Purposes related to denial. Alright, Clancy. Pick up your stupid dwarves. Since you don't really have anything else. We're going to use a dwarven Clancy. Despite that, especially as not dwarves, but rather unicorns, which ran away from us because they are haters. I think I have justification now for killing unicorns for fun. No, this isn't going to exactly help my morale, but it won't hurt it. Won't hurt it. And let's see here, another necro town this direction. No, it's not like I can raise skeletons or anything. Striker? Striker's not going to do anything to Super Gem here. Yeah, we're just going to stuff dwarves onto Clancy. <laughs> ah, jeez. Get the water elementals. Get them. See, they think they got this. They think they can beat me. But they do not know that Clancy is a lover of unicorns. You know, just the way their horn is, and... Actually, I, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. And... Yeah, 
Yeah, if I do this, the one down below will not be able to attack me effectively. <laughs> um, hmm. Could just cast Magic Arrow. It should do some extra damage. Yeah. Oh, they chose not to come after me that way. Instead, splitting up. Okay. That's fine. It's not like they can attack my first aid tent or something. It's not like I would care if they attack my first aid tent or something. Lol. Easy win. Let's see? Thors are good offensively. You just need a god mode hero in mass haste. Or slow. Or both. Really both. Or just haste at least. Aw oh, man, where are you going, Straker? Even in Deja, there are a few residents who are not undead. <laughs> My scouts made contact with some yesterday. They had some interesting news. The local Dajan border was assassinated uh, border lord was assassinated recently. He was apparently killed on the same day as Lord Fayette. The interesting part is that uh, the people questioned by the scouts believe another Dajan lord had died and assassinated the border lord. So, um, douche hero ran this way. We're going to intercept. And can finally make use of our destroy undead spell as well as expert tactics. Beautiful. I have a legitimate use for this. Um, don't want to clump my forces with liches on the dirt too much, although. I'm going to be able to do a pretty good amount of damage with Destroy Undead right away. Ah, he resists. What the heck? How dare you resist? Um, can the Naga Queens outspeed the vampires? No, they cannot. Um, I could just attack the vampires with my genies, though, and that will not kill, and he'll run away. It sucks. I was expecting to get the kill there. What are Jem's offensive stats? Pretty bad, actually. Considering how nice these heroes were in their respective campaigns, they're pretty miserable now. Well, only by comparison, though. I would love to start with these kinds of heroes normally. Alright, Necro Town, get. And let's cast some View Air. I wonder if I can get there straight west. Let's have a look. I think I would need to bust that garrison. I really would. Castle. Kingside. And we can do it twice. Maybe even build another troop dwelling or two next turn. Maybe get some more Pegasi or something. I don't know. Something I don't care about a whole lot. Do I get any good spells? I mean, aside from the one... Ooh, yes! Expert Slow, Expert Stone Skin. Um, just step outside for a minute, Jam. We want to grab a hero. Genies or Cure Specialty. We can dump some more Centaurs on Jam. That's good enough for me, for a reason to hire the Druid. I don't have to worry about being necro-blocked, which is not a fun thing to be. Alright, we're going to run for the garrison. Well, that's bizarre. He doesn't have diplomacy, but I'll take some serpent flies. I might even have some use for some serpent flies. Let's clear out some orcs too. Oops, can't get through the pack of liches. I just hope there's not a border tent over there or something. Well, actually, more important border tent is getting through this. This will not be a fun fight with several bone dragons and dark knights. At least nothing's vampire lords. 
Oh, well, this stuff is on the low end of the displayed characteristics, but even so, it's not just any magic block, it's total magic block. I should have moved my Pegasi. Well, I can at least move my genies. We're going to take morale penalties, sure. I don't know, the Lich just didn't want a piece of that. Statistically, I'm pretty strong, so I'll take some lumps here. I mean, compared to a lot of the heroes I've built, even in single scenarios, I've had stronger heroes. But still, statistically, I'm pretty strong compared to stuff that has nothing. All right, we're going to tie up the liches. Genies also can't cast anything. Man, my Cavaliers just hate my guts. Oh my god. At least they're doing something from that. Clear these guys out so I can take another shot. Ooh, not bad. 14 Nagas can really lay a hurting. Especially unretaliated. <laughs> wow. This is ridiculous. Oh, sure, now you can move. Piece of crap. Well, you take your lumps with diplomacy as well. I would never have been able to take this stuff or even make it here if it weren't for diplomacy, so whatever. Gotcha. Now, is there anything I don't have a lot of that I can dump? No, because I'm using... Actually, why am I low morale? Oh, because I have three alignments because of the uh, Cavaliers. But I don't want to dump eight uh, sixth level troops, particularly. On to the next battle. This one being a little bit less ridiculous, and I probably won't have terrible morale in this battle. You can make it! I probably would have lost one less centaur if I had done that a little wisely, but whatever. But maybe Clancy doesn't like his centaurs. Get out of the way. Yet. Bloodlust. That spell is so broken in Warcraft 2. View air. There's the other Necro Town. And looks like I caught it without their hero defending it at least. So. Oh, it's only a fort, despite them starting with it. Wow, that's uh, really surprising. Oh, they're not going to resist this. Okay. We're going to put up a fort. I have a feeling the AI is not going to do well. Oh, I forgot to build creature dwellings. Whoops. Well, now we got a capital. And I think what we need is more dendroids. Dendroids are the uh, the way to be, I think. Spam creatures! <laughs> this diplomacy is an early game skill. You do not have a long-term prospect with diplomacy, but uh, if you take a couple towns, much like a Settling Spree and Civ, you do have long-term prospects. And Arlac has Jack, so... Gotcha. 
Okay, we're gonna view air. One town just off to the west. And uh, what's going on underneath the ground there? I'm gonna need to take a look at this through the view earth spectacles. Obviously the town's right here, so I can reach that before the next week. And probably should hire a hero to start taking these mines. Bizarre. Looks like I'm going to have to get through there by warping or something. Or maybe there's, I'll be lucky and there's a subterranean gate. I'm not holding my breath. Alright, so more annoying troop uh, hero spam. What do I get here? Man, I see him a lot. He's helping out with you and now Jem and... Well, at least I don't have to worry about these necromancy shroud things much longer. They're so annoying. Okay. I think I've said that before, but they are. They're undeniably a pain. You are getting a level. Too bad I don't care, but it's there if you want it. Ooh. Once again, however, we don't have to worry about any castle type garrisons or anything like that and we can spread out so that the liches can't screw us uh. but that can screw them <laughs> lame oh good you felt like doing something Unfortunately, your position is that the liches will screw you if you move right now. Oh, you enemy red made you that for me. Um, I will kill these in one shot. Let's wear down the skeletons a little bit since they're kind of threatening. I'm kind of a big deal. And sure, we since we can attack, attack. Forty-two skeletons. Quite a hefty chunk. Hmm. I could fodder the uh, centaurs. I don't know. The centaurs don't want to be fodder. Or maybe they do. <laughs> Yeah, I can uh, help me out in this regard. Oh, this sucks. There we go. You can make it through. And here. This lightning bolt. Kept a surprising number of my shooters. I get halls of darkness everywhere. I bring a full on necro army at this guy. Screw bone dragons, though. I don't care about those. Despicable act! Ha ha! What kind of tree are you? Automatic level. Okay. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, it's definitely down there. Maybe View Earth can give us a hint. I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't see a way through. I don't know. Well, okay viewers, we are off to a <laughs> well, spectacular start on this video, and it's gone on for a while, so I'm going to stop it here and continue this in the next part. Thumbs up if you like the video, and I will see you then. The main team is signing off.